welcome to mini band yoga. Today we are going to do a vinyasa flow mixed in with some good muscle burn. We are going to have this band around our legs the entire time, but we're going to work the entire body, both stretching, heating up, and getting some good toning going on. So let's go ahead and first bring our band right at our ankles. So you can kind of just like set it and forget it. Although it'll be hard to forget it because it's going to really intensify the moves that we are doing. But it's just going to stay there for most of the class. So first what we're going to do is just take a big deep breath in. Hands come up overhead. And exhale up. Another time I want you to think of two things that you want more of in your life. Breathe that into existence. Hold your breath at the top. Now, if there's anything bugging you, anything that you want to zoom out of your life, let's blow out, pushing it far out of our lives. <sighs> nice. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls, bringing our shoulders back, rolling them up toward our ears and pressing all the way back. Two more times just like that, then we'll switch directions. Now we're going to go forward, so stretching through our upper back through our shoulders. We've got three, two, and one. I want you to stand at the end of your mat with your legs shoulder width or a little bit further apart because we want to feel a little bit of the resistance from the band. Again, we're just leaving it there for now and we're going to keep on working out though. I want you to lower all the way down. So just like you're sitting down into a chair. So we're sitting down, hands right here at our chest. I want you to lean back so you really feel the weight into your heels, almost like you're going to fall back. So put that weight in the heels like you're sitting in a chair hold three two one reach all the way up through your fingertips now keep your arms reaching but i want you to lower back down into the chair again so lower down for three two one reach all the way up through your center through your fingertips back down lower for three two one, reach up, squeeze the glutes one more time, all the way down, three, two, one, stay here, now hinge forward, hands come down to your mat, legs are bent, try and keep your back mostly straight, it's going to arch slightly as you reach down, now I want you to straighten out your legs, just leaving a slight bend through your knees, breathe here, stretching through the backs of your legs, all down through your hamstrings, couple breaths here. Now I want you to walk your hands all the way out so you are in a high plank position, wrists in alignment with your shoulders. So settle into that position. If you need a modifier, you can always drop your knees down. It's here, not here, okay? So it should feel good and comfortable still with your band at your ankles. So we're in the high plank position. We're going to stay here for three more seconds and we're going to press up to downward dog in two and one, press it up. Feel the stretch all through your back, through your lats, through your lower back. You can kind of pedal out your legs, so just bending one, alternating it out, so you're really getting your hamstrings and your calves. We've got three, two, switch back to high plank. Right here, we're in our high plank position. We're going to stay here for 10 seconds in high plank, then we're going to walk our hands back up so we're in our standing position. We've got five, four, three, two and one walk your hands back towards your feet stay bent hands palms still down on the ground slight little bend through your knees and now big breath in and hands come up overhead exhale sit down in your chair hold that chair now for ten nine eight seven a little lower good make sure you're putting most of the weight through your heels you've got three two one fold forward stay bent and now straighten your legs up slight then still through your knees and we're going to walk back out to high plank make sure your positioning is right wrists and shoulders stacked right over each other and now press it to downward dog stretch hold Nice work. From here, we're going to go back to our plank and I want you to lower down. If you need to drop your knees down like this, that's totally fine. But we're going to lower all the way down to the ground. So slow, yes, it's a push up, but we are actually going to lay down on the ground when we get there. But I want it to take us seven seconds to get down. So let's go slow, lower. And three, two, one, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, you should be flat down, flip your toes so that the tops of your feet are down on the mat. Your chest is down, your arms are here by your side, like a little cricket, and then we're going to push all the way up, chest comes off the ground, if that's too much for you. If you are right here, that is totally fine also. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, arching through your back, and now all the way back down to the ground again, and press it right back up. Quick changes here, we lower down, we press it up. Find the zone of where you can press up and stay in that because we're doing this five more times. There's one, thighs are down on the ground. Here is lower, there's two. Flex it, stretch it, good. We've got three, two more. Lower down, press up. This is great for your lower back, great for your chest, and of course, really good for your arms also. One more right there, press it up. Good, now you can come to all fours. Flip your toes and we're back to our high plank. We're going to stay here for 10 seconds again. Then we'll journey our hands back toward our feet and we'll get ourselves back up to standing. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands right back to your feet. Big breath in. Exhale, stay standing. From this position, you can put your hands here, you can put your hands here, whatever is most comfortable, but we're going to bring our leg out and we're just going to balance and work against the resistance of the band for our outer thigh. So go ahead and step it out. Now hold five, four, three, two, and one. Come to chair pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, other leg. Five, hold it up the whole time. Four. Three, we'll go back to chair in two and one. Chair, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, hold it now for 10, nine. Find your focal point, something that's not wiggling, wobbling, or moving that'll help you keep your balance for four, three, two, and one. Come together, chair, for 10 seconds. If this is uncomfortable for your arms, you can bring them right here. You've got five, lower. Put your weight through your heels. Four, three, two, one. Stand up now, 10 seconds on the other side. Hold it. Come on, working on your balance, pressing through your outer thigh. You've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet come down. Hands come down to the ground. Walk it up to your high plank. Once you stop with good form, again, shoulders right over your wrists. We're now going to bring our left leg out, hovering over the floor. We hold five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet back together. Slow lower down to the ground. Seven seconds begins. Now lower down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip your toes. We're flat on the mat. Press it up. Lower down. Press it up, lower down, press through your triceps, like lifting your fingertips up off the ground, so really you're pressing through the palm of your hand. Let's go ahead and do that. There's five, we're going to go two more times. Lower and lift. We lower and lift. Now flip your toes back to high plank. We're going to now bring our leg out, our right leg holding for that five second count begins now, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet back together, holding the plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're almost there. Straight back. Three, two, one. Press it downward dog. Stretch it out. You can pedal your legs. Now when we shift back into high plank in just about five seconds, we're going to do the same thing, extending first our left leg out to the side. We'll hold for 10 seconds this time. So shift to high plank, extend your left leg out. We hold 10, nine, you've got this working through the outer thigh. Of course, working the entire body, upper body probably shaking as it's holding your body, supporting you. Three, two, one, feet together. Slow, lower down begins now. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're down on the mat. Flip your feet, and we're going to go back to those cobra press ups. So we press it up, we drop it down, 
we go up for two, we're going seven here. We now lower, we're up for three, arching through your back, down and up for four, down, up for five, your triceps should be feeling this, down and up, we've got six, arching through our back, and now we have seven, press it up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, you can drop your chest, you can flip your feet, and now we're going to bring our right leg out, holding for that 10 second count, here we go, 10, 9, 8, press it bigger, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, press up to downward dog. Stretching through our back. Bring your hands to your feet as you go into that journey. We're still folded forward, palms down to the ground. Slight bend through our knees. Now I want you to make that bend big. So we're sitting all the way down with our booty. Hands are still right there in front of our feet. And now press your booty back up, hands still low. Back down, and up. One more time, bend down, and now press up. Big breath, hands come up overhead, and exhale up. Bring it to chair pose, so we chair, lower, rise up, palms down to the ground. Walk it out to our plank. Our plank becomes downward dog. Downward dog becomes high plank again. Slow lower down to the ground. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to press it all the way up to cobra. Flip your feet. Press it up. Stretch it big. Drop your chest to our high plank again. This time we're going to rotate over to one side. So we're in our side plank. If that feels too much, you can always have a little kickstand. So bringing one knee down, yes, the band is still there. So you can always go here. From here, what we're going to do is we are going to lift. We are going to turn, we will press. We'll go to the side, we lift, we turn, we press. If that feels not challenging enough, this is what you will do. You will go in that full on side plank. You will lift, turn, press, like so. We're going to do five times on each side. So let's go ahead and get into position. Whichever side plank variation is working best for you today. Hold your core tight. Make sure you're not down here. But we want to really pull it tight. Shoulder in alignment with your wrist. You can always make adjustments if you need to get it there. And then we go lift, bring it down, turn, push, it up, back to the same side. We lift, down, turn, and push it up. That's two, we've got three more. Lift, down, you can always drop to your knees if you need to, but how do you push yourself? We've got four, down, turn, and press it up. And now we've got five, turn, press, and up. We're in our high plank, stay in that high plank. It should be challenging to stay in the high plank. And now we're going to bring our left leg out to the left side and we resist against the band. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, press to downward dog. Big breath. And now we will shift to our plank. I'm just going to flip around so that I can keep on looking at you. We're going to go to the other side of our side plank, but for now we're in the high plank. And now drop it down. Right leg should be on top, whether you are here or here. And now we go for those five reps. We lift, lower, turn your body, push it up to the side again. Lift, lower, turn, and then push it up. Right back at it we go. Rep three, turn, push it up. Let's get right here, four. Keep your core tight the whole time. Now switch, push it up. Last one, side plank. Lift, down, turn, push it up. Stay in your plank. No, I'm not crazy. I just wanna really push you. All right, now what we're going to do is we're doing our other side. So I want you to lift that leg out. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together, press to downward dog. Pedal out your legs. 
I want you to drop your knees down and get into all fours like cat cow or like the bear hold but our knees are actually going to be down so we're going to have a nice tabletop position wrists again shoulders in alignment hip with your knee from here we are going to flip our toes and press into bear so we're off the ground i want you to bring one leg out in out in then we do a mini push-up right back up keep your back straight ready we go out in out in, mini push up and up. Here we go. Out, in, out, in, small push. One more time. Out, in, out, in, mini push it up. Drop your knees down, flip your feet, arch your back. And now press it down. Going into cat cow, head comes up, booty goes up. Now curl it the other way. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, just like that. We inhale, head comes up, booty goes up. Exhale, curl your spine up. Neutralize your spine, get your wrists and shoulders aligned again, flip your feet, and we're gonna press up into bear again. Here we go, we're going back at it. Out, in, out, in, mini push up. And again, out. We're going for five reps. Out, in, small push up. And that's two. Out, in, out, in, working through your outer thighs, but also really working through the obliques. Here's four. Mini push up. Here's five. Tap, five. Tap, mini lower up, and drop it down to all fours. Flip your feet back to our cat cow. Roll it, and press it. We roll it and press. One more, just like that. Roll it up. Press it down. Press to your bear again. This time something different, but we're going to press up to our bear position. I want you to lift your left arm straight in front of you. Hold. Knees up off the ground. Hold it out. Three, two, one. Place it down. Other arm up for three. Two, one, bring it down, knees hovering over the ground, left arm comes up again, now this time for five, four, three, two, one, plant it down, right arm comes up, five, four, three, two, one, hands down, press your booty up, walk it to downward dog, so you want to bring a little more distance between your feet and your hands, stretch it big here. Shift to high plank, and I want you to lift your left leg straight up toward the sky here. Lift, two, three, four, five, lower down, right, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant it down, shift back to downward dog. We're going to do that one more time, and three, two, and one. Shift to high plank, lift, this time 10, nine, Fighting the resistance of your band. Five, four, three, two, one. Plant your foot down, downward dog. We just have that right leg. One more time, going for 10 seconds right here. Shift to high plank, lift 10, core tight, arms strong. Six, five, I'm wiggling. Three, two, one. It goes down with our feet, press it up to downward dog. Stretch it out here. Drop your knees down. And we're on all fours. Now bring your booty to your heel. So we're in child pose. Walk your fingertips all the way out. Think like you were trying to get your armpits down to the mat. Stretching through your back. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Come back to all fours, and now right back down into child's pose. Just resetting, stretching again. Booty comes towards your heels. Walk your fingertips out a little bit further, stretching real big through the upper body, through your lower back. There you go. 
if you can go ahead and finally take that band from around your ankles told you we were gonna set it and try to forget it but I felt the burn I hope that you did too full body feeling it nice job today I'll see you again soon